hello everyone welcome back to our channel thank you for always stopping by in today's video i want to share with us what you should put in your shoes to attract favor to remove evil eyes and to prevent you from danger so this recipe by the grace of god when you start using it you will only be directed to where favor will locate you not where you will go and face problems not where you go and shorten your life not where you go you'll be robbed not where you go, the enemies will take your life. All you need to do for me is to watch the video to the end, share the video at the end of the day, and like it. That is all I need from you. There, there are just two ingredients you need for this recipe. There are most of us that will always fall into trouble. Though any time there is a problem, you will be there. And the problem will just, you know, have a way of affecting you. Other people will go, they will so immediately you get there. That is when police will come. That is when armed robbers will come and rob that place. That is when kidnappers will come. That is when accidents will happen. That is when a vigilante will come that they robbed here and you'll be among people they will, you know, capture as armed robbers when you are innocent. There are people that are born like that. They only run into trouble. They don't run. They don't go to where people are being favored. Why some people zone? Immediately they get here. That is, they will meet where they are sharing money and they will benefit from it. They will meet where there is opportunities. That is their own. They don't go to where there is problem. Immediately they enter there, you see favor will follow them. There are people like that. There are people that when they start this business, everybody, it will start booming. But when another person tries that business, your money will start looking for it. That is grace. It is called grace. If you don't have that grace, begin now to ask God for that grace. There are people that when they see you doing this, ah, let me go and do it. When they do it, their head will enter. I had a friend like that in secondary school. If you follow her, you will, she doesn't take effect, she doesn't pass first thought. But throughout the class, she'll be stoning people, playing. If you follow her and play, you'll fail. So there are people with that grace. So if you know you don't have that grace, please watch this video so that God will always direct you to where favor will locate you. God will always direct you to where you'll be known. God will always direct you to where your story will be changed for good, not always putting yourself into trouble. Your mates will be married. Let you decide to go and marry. That is the, the time problem will start. To even have child will be a problem. To have a peaceful home will be a problem. Common love for your partner to love you will be a problem. You even want to even buy the love. Still, it will not still work. Grace. Why some people will marry, their story will change. You will see everything will be, you know, will be sweet. You will be, imagine, God, why me? Even most of, many people that marry with people, they are suffering in their marriages. Then you that marry the poor man, you are enjoying your own. It's called grace. Some people will marry, they will start making money. Some people will marry, the doors will close. They will not tell you a winch. Please ask for the grace of God. You go to the hospital, your own sickness, malaria, that people will just go to a chemist and buy malaria drug of 500. Your own, you go and pay for admission in the hospital before you, they will treat you malaria. Ask God for that grace so that everything about you will change. You go to this company, immediately you get to that company, that is when the company will start having financial crisis, they will downsize and you'll be the number one person they will sack. Immediately they sack you, the company will start doing well again. Ask God for grace. You will enter a networking company, they will be paying people million. Immediately you register, that is when the company will start having problems and your money will disappear. Ask God for grace. If you are facing any of these problems I mentioned and beyond, you enter a bus, that is when armed robbers will come and rob. You go to a particular place, that is when armed robbers will come. Why some people immediately they leave, that is when armed robbers they come, they, say, they will just come, they say, immediately you left, they just came and robbed everybody. It is called grace. Ask God for that grace. That whenever good thing is happening in front, let you be there. When bad thing is happening in front, let you be at the back. Ask God for that grace every day of your life. 
So I want to share with us simple things you can do to activate this grace of God upon your life so that you only be going to where favor will locate you, not where danger, bad things will always locate you. If you're a young lady, you are ready for marriage, ask God for grace because there are some families you will enter. The little grace you have will be chattered. You, your life will be miserable. You'll be wondering, is it marriage? Some of you will say, I don't even know. Oh, I'm suffering with my marriage. Marriage is not meant to be suffered. It's meant to be enjoyed. Ask God for that grace so that when you get there, you will enjoy it. People will envy you. And like I always tell people, if they say you're not using jazz to hold your husband, know that you're not doing well. Know that your marriage is not so. But anytime they say they are using juju to hold that man, they're using black magic on your husband, know that the grace of God is in your marriage and pray for it to continue to blossom. Okay? What do you need to do? Get me your cinnamon stick and your camphor. This is my camphor moth balls. The one you put in your toilet or in your wardrobe. When you get the two of them, crush it. Let it be in powdered form. Get your shoe, your two shoes. When you crush it, you put it in a container and store it. We are almost at the end of the year. Many bad things usually happen. So that we will not fall into danger. We will not enter where ambrobas are. We will not enter where accidents will take place. We will not enter where bombs. They will throw bombs. We will not enter where Boko Haram will come and kidnap us. Okay? So when you crush these two things, you put it in your shoe, in your two shoes, and pray that God should activate your grace. That anywhere you go, let the grace of God be upon you. No demon will see you. No kidnapper will see you. No arm robber will see you. No blood sucking demon will see you. You will go out safely and come back safely without being hurt. Do it every morning. Whether you're on your period or not, every morning, take this mixture, put in your shoes, and go away. Remember to pray that God should direct your footsteps. When any good thing is happening in front, let you be there. When bad thing is happening in front, let God take you to the back. You will never come into, you will never run into danger. Accident will not be your portion. Premature death will not, see your, will not be your portion. Just do this simple assignment and watch how God is going to change your story and watch how God is going to begin to favor you and watch how God is going to save you from any harm that the enemy has planned to before you. Do this thing and come back with your testimony. You can share it under the comment section or on my WhatsApp number. I've come to the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. And if you've not subscribed, kindly do so. Follow me on Facebook as Solution Empire, on TikTok as Solution Empire 01, on YouTube as Solution Empire, and my second channel is Solution Empire TV. Follow me on these social media handles so that you will learn everything you need to know about spiritualism, health, and beauty. I've come to the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.